Hi everyone. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to use the set and reset coils in the CFC programming environment for PLCs. Uh, I have created a project with CFC as the programming language. Here you can see that I already have declared some variables, start, stop, motor, and motor 2. All of them are Boolean. And in the visualization, I have a simple set of elements. I have two push buttons, start and stop. I have two pilot lamps. One is referring to motor and second one is referring to motor 2 as you can see here. And for the push buttons, I have a set these push buttons to be associated with the start. So each time that I press this push button here, the value of start will become true and when I release it, start will become false. And for the stop push button, as you can see here, since I have this tab false, each time that I press, stop will become zero and whenever I release, stop will become one. So that's what I have here in terms of visualization. Quite simple, yeah? And here, uh, what I want to do is to use the start push button to set the motor and to use the stop push button to reset the motor. So to do so, I need to bring some input element here to refer to start and another one to refer to stop. And now I want to determine the the value for the motor, yeah, which is here I consider it as an output variable. To determine its value, I need to bring one output and call it motor and another one as well. And I will associate this with motor as well. And now I need to make a connection between from start to motor simply by clicking on the pins and here as well I can do it now I want to set the motor whenever the value of start becomes true so by default start is false whenever I press this push button it will become true and I want to set the value so I need to change this coil, this is kind of coil, yeah, into a set coil. I can do it by right clicking on the input pin of the the output element and then here we have this set or reset. And now I will use this set for this. Clicking on anywhere else you will see this S character appeared at the at uh, at the input of the motor. For the second case I need to reset the motor so I need to choose reset this time here from this menu and one more thing here is that I want to reset the motor whenever the value of stop becomes false because usually what we get from here is true or one for restop whenever we, I press I will get zero this means that I need to negate the output of the stop and I can do it from here It's quite simple, yeah. We have start to set the motor and we have stop to reset the motor. Now let's see how this will work. Okay, we are all on the track, so let's log in and see what happens in the runtime. Alright, now we can start to run. So you can see here that initially the values for start and stop both of them are false. If I click once on the stop, we will have true here for the stop. And uh, now if I click on start, the value of start will become true for a very short time, indeed for the time in which I'm clicking this start, and since we are we are using this set coil, the value of the motor will become uh, true. It should be the case indeed. Yeah? You see I just clicked on 
on start push button and now our motor is set and it keeps its value and if I click on start the value of on start the value of stop will become false since we have this negation here the input to the reset motor will become true and as a result motor should reset and that's what happens here so in the normal operation pressing start once I have motor set pressing stop once I have motor reset uh, that's all that you need to know about using set and reset uh, but one more thing here is important you can see this uh, markers here, yeah, 0 and 1, which is indeed the order of ex executing. When we work with CFC, we don't have networks or rungs. B with uh, ladder logic, the, the code is executed from top to the bottom. Or for uh, function block diagram as well, when we, ha when we refer to the networks in it, and for structured text, it will be executed line by line from top to the bottom. And then it goes to the first uh, line in the, in the case of CFC we need to determine the order of execution of the code and we do this by this uh, indeed indicators 0 and 1 so this means that th this instruction will be executed first and then the second one will be executed and we can see it here if I change the value of stop, start to true if I force the value in it and for stop if I force the value to become false you see that now we should have the motor in set mode because of the value coming from stop start and we should have it in the reset mode because of the value coming from the stop and since this instruction is the one which is executed after the previous one this has the priority I can show you something here if I just log out and change the order of the execution and you can do it here execution order if I uh, just move it up or maybe move it down yeah here you can see that this uh, instruction has the order of zero and the other one has the order of one it means that this instruction will be executed after the uh, stop or reset motor in it in this case we will see that this instruction will have the priority in determining the behavior of the motor so if we have this situation to start to stop so you see that in the normal behavior it works fine. However, if we have now uh, let's say true for the start and false for the stop, you can see that even though we need to have motor resetted and we have we should have motor set, since this instruction is executed after the other one, this instruction determines the state of the motor and as a result our motor will uh, remain turned on so this is somehow similar to a performing self-holding scenario I will explain it as well here by referring to the second motor and referring to these inputs to have the self-holding scenario we need to put a value coming from stop in series with start and start in parallel with the motor 2 and then determine the, the value for motor 2 so for that we need to have an OR and we need to have an AND and the output so output should refer to motor 2 input of the AND one of the inputs comes from the output of the OR and the second input comes from stop and for the inputs of the OR we need to determine start and 
the next input should be motor to itself so this is in itself hold, holding scenario yeah, that we have uh, let's see if it works properly alright so try again ok we are in the ROM mode now both of the motors are stopped pressing start they, they are on pressing stop both of them are off and here in this case you should see that the order of execution this time will not matter for determining the state of motor auto because if I set start to true and stop to false you see that stop here has the priority so stop determines whether to have the motor running or not even though start is providing true value but since here we have stop in series with the result of start and motor motor 2 it has the uh, it, yeah it, it determines indeed the behavior of the second motor and this is indeed a better solution yeah indeed because we want to stop the motor whenever we press the stop even so if there's something wrong in the circuitry and the stop doesn't let our motor to be put in the run mode uh, okay so that's all that I wanted to show you in this video I hope you have enjoyed it and you have learned how to use the set and uh, reset coils for the within the CFC in it you can also change it back to the normal coil whenever you wish we also have another option here for the coils which is called the reference and I guess I will talk about it in some other video thank you for watching and see you next time